Hello there. Happy New Year. It's Monday, January 1st, and today's title is Filling the Barns. Whether we are rich or poor, our desires to own things can take our mind off of what really matters and focus it instead on what's only temporal and fleeting and certainly not worth the loss of eternal life. We would probably never bow down to a literal statue of gold or silver and worship it today. Nevertheless, we can still be in danger of worshiping gold and silver just in another form. This parable is so applicable in many parts of the world, where life is dedicated almost exclusively to acquiring possessions. Retailers have turned the hawkings of their products into an art form on a global scale. Their whole marketing strategy is built on what's making us think that we can't be happy or satisfied until we own what they are selling. One very successful company created a product, made us think that we need it, and then sold it to us. And the truth is, it worked. Even Christians, whose hope is not of this world, are not safe from this deception. What examples can you find, either in the Bible or our world today, in which the accumulation of wealth and the material possessions increased a person's spirituality, love of God, and desire for heavenly and spiritual things? Please share the answers with this in your class. Thank you and have a great day.